Yo, yo, yo. By now you guys know my entire legs push pull workout split. If you don't know what I'm talking about, just go through my uh, uploaded videos and you'll see I made a four video series of my workout plan. Though I do plan to add another video to cover some frequently asked questions. So if you guys can think of anything you want to ask, you can go ahead and do some collecting questions for that. One thing that I did want to say was that in the description box now on for all of my videos, and I also think on my YouTube uh, channel as well, there's a link on it where you can actually click it. It takes you to my Evernote uh, link, and that's where I post all of my workouts. So you can see my workouts even just you know the minute that I that I uh, sync it on my phone or on my computer or whatever. So that's the best way to stay up to date with my current strength, what I'm lifting, um, how I'm feeling, etc. You'll notice, you know, it may not be exactly how I put it in my uh, my legs push pull routine explanation videos. That's just because you know once a while things come up, like for example. On this uh, specific day, I only did three sets of ten squats. Whereas in the video, I, I told you guys that I do five sets of ten squats. And things will come up, right? I guess this will, this will cover a question. Uh, frequently asked question. You know, what do you do when you can only hit three sets of ten or you can't do, you don't feel good, etc.? You know? No matter what, I think it's great to have a goal. Whether it's just a weight, whether it's however many sets of it, whatever. It's great to have a goal. And normally, like, for my squats, 5 sets of 10 is the goal. But today, 3 sets of 10. Um, I could have done 4 or 5 sets of 10, but to be honest, like, I didn't get much sleep the night before. And I felt absolutely shitty throughout this workout. So that was kind of my justification for only doing uh, 3 sets of 10 for the squats. And I'm sure you guys are going to have these sort of situations too and you just take them as they come, right? Some days you might not be feeling as good as others. In that case, perhaps you might want to shave off a set or two from your exercises or drop something completely. All that really matters is that the majority of the time you're making progress. And that's just the simple concept, right? If most of the time you're making progress, you're fine. Um, a step backwards or um, this isn't even a step backwards if you think about it because I I still hit three sets of ten which is still basically a PR a record in other words um, so so it wasn't no this definitely wasn't a step back but we all are going to face once in a while a step back or we are going to um, simply not be able to perform and hit PRs every single workout, that's going to happen. But all that really matters is that most of the time you're hitting PRs and most of the time you're aiming to hit PRs. That said, as long as you're making progress, your physique will be making progress. So, that's what I got to say about that. You know, whether It's really up to you guys how you want to make things happen. Like if you're not feeling great, so many different things you can do, it's really up to your imagination. Whether you want to take uh, some volume off, take some weight off, whatever. All that really matters is that most of the time, you better be making progress. That's it, guys. That's it for this video. Hope you all have a good night. Peace. Hey, quit being a little bitch! Oh, his cake!